coincidence. I was wondering where I might be able to find you, and here you are. Miss me? Yes, indeed. I believe Klee has missed you tremendously. All right, as much as I'd like to sit and chat with you, this time I'm here mainly for Klee. Before bringing Klee here, I told her many stories about Inazuma. It got her very excited to experience the local culture here. However, I've got other things to do in Inazuma this time besides painting the portraits of the five Kasen. Over the next couple of days, I won't have the time to show her around. Inazuma is not like Mondstadt. I can't just let Klee wander off by herself when I'm busy with other things. So I had to have her stay at the International Trade Association while I finish my work. She hasn't complained, but I can tell she's not enjoying being stuck there on her own. Fortunately, I now have you and Paimon. So, uh... Yay! Mr. Honorary Knight's here! What you talking about, Mr. Honorary Knight? Are we gonna go play? You wanna go and play? Yeah! Um, but Albedo is really busy. I can't go too far away or he'll be worried about me. Aw, Cree, you're such a thoughtful kid. Unlike Paimon. Ah, Paimon's a very thoughtful, thank you very much. Paimon always thinks of you whenever she's eating a delicious slime. You are very thoughtful. Yeah, that's more like it. Anyway, it is pretty cruel not to let Klee go out when she was so excited to come here. I'll look after Klee. Yep, yep. Allow the almighty traveler and dependable Paimon to bring Klee on a tour of Inazuma. Let's introduce her to someone is Klee? Do you want to go play with Mr. Honorary Knight? Yay! You bet I do! As you know, Klee is our Spark Knight. You must keep her safe and sound. <clears throat> By which I mean, uh... <clears throat> try to keep her out of trouble. For instance, if a mountain in Inazuma was to lose one of its peaks, or if there were an explosion somewhere in the city, Klee could very well get in trouble. Got it, no boom boom. Glad to hear it. <laughs> I promise I'll bring you back an awesome souvenir, Mr. Albedo. Great. I look forward to it. There are loads of cool things to do in Inazuma. Try the local cuisine, visit a shrine. What do you want to do, Klee? Cuisine? What's that? You know, food and drink. Hyman just meant we could take you to a local restaurant. <gasps> a restaurant? Yay! Snack time! Love this fan novel. Got it! All right, snack time it is! Let's go! To request. Tonkotsu ramen, actually. Oh. So, um, what are those yellow and red thingies on that plate? You're kidding, right? Those are tri-flavored skewers. Mmm, and what about this little yellow cake? That's an egg roll. They're amazing. Have you really not tried one before? Wow. Tonkotsu ramen, tri-flavored skewers, and Egg rolls! <laughs> they all sound delicious! <laughs> they sure are! Guess you're not from around here if you haven't tried any of these before. Let me buy you an egg roll with my allowance so you can get a taste of our Inazuman food. <gasps> really? <laughs> but Master Jean said I shouldn't go taking other people's things. Also, that's your allowance, right? Taking another kid's allowance just seems kind of wrong. 
Don't take his more. I'll cook them myself. Oh, I remember you. You're Yuri Mia's friend. How come you know how to make egg rolls? Egg rolls are a piece of cake for this guy. Why don't you make some for Kree and Iwo? Sure, I'll make some for uh, you too. Rolls taste like? Wow! You really can cook them! You're awesome, mister! Mmm, it's sweet! So yummy! Yep, yep! It's delicious! Traveler, you're the best! Yeah, these egg rolls are pretty good, but I still think Yoimiya's are better. Hmm? Who is Yoimiya? She makes egg rolls too? She's a superhero. Yoimiya can do anything. She tells stories, keeps goldfish, makes fireworks, and gives us candy too. Yoimiya's pretty much the best and most awesome person ever. For me, the best, most awesome person in the world is my mom. And Klee knows loads of other great people, too. Like Mr. Albedo, Mr. Honorary Knight, Master Jean, Kaya. Uh, uh, surely she's not going to name everyone she knows. Oh, well, I don't know any of those people. But anyways, I still want to introduce you to Yoimiya. If you want, I'll take you to find her. In most festivals, Yoimiya's so busy that you can never find her. But this festival's different. She has free time, so she can play with us. She seems like she hasn't been in a great mood recently. But maybe seeing you will cheer her up. Okay, let's go play with Yoimiya. something that'll cheer you up. Yesterday, I won three beetle fights in a row against that guy with the horns on his head. Wow, Matsuzaka. Nice work. It's not easy to beat Ito. Don't worry, Yoimiya. Maybe you can't light fireworks during the Iridori Festival, but there are still lots of other fun things to do. I know. <sighs> Thanks, you guys. It's just that fireworks are banned in the city for a few days. I'm not that upset, really. Yoimiya, it's me! I want to introduce you to a new friend, an Outlander girl. I just met her. Wait, what's your name again? <laughs> Klee. My name is Klee. Nice to meet you, Klee. I'm Yoimiya, and I run Naganahara Fireworks. 
Um, <laughs> hello. I love the cute outfit with the hat and the cool little symbols. So unique. In your backpack, wow, it's really well made. That's a four leaf clover. Mom and Master Jean said it can bring me good luck. Really? That's awesome! I bet everyone would love one of those. Also, that little fairy on your backpack is super cute, too. <laughs> That's Dodoko, my best friend. We always go fish blasting together in Starfell Lake. Oh, Dodoko? What an interesting name. I really like it. Yep. My mom says that when a Dodoko is born, it rides the wind and goes off on a big adventure. <laughs> Ride the wind and go off on a big adventure? Klee, your mom sounds like a very cool person. Yep, my mom is the best and most awesome person ever. And Yoimiya, Iwao was right. You're a really cool person, too. <laughs> Thanks, Klee. I feel like we really get each other. We'll be great friends, I'm sure of it. Uh, it's so heartwarming watching these two chat away. Hey, Klee! Since you like four-leaf clover so much, why don't I make a firework with a four-leaf clover pattern and set it off for you? <gasps> yeah! And after the fireworks, we can go fish blasting with Donoko! Uh, hold on a second. Fish blasting? <laughs> no way. Albedo was pretty clear about that. Oh, boom, boom. Oh, oops. I got so excited that I completely forgot about that. The folks from the Yashiro Commission specifically warned me that no fireworks are allowed in Inazuma during the Iridori Festival. What? It's not allowed? But... Aww... Okay, then. Hey, come on! You just made a new friend! This is a happy occasion! Why are you suddenly so upset? Don't be sad. Yeah! We still have loads of things we can do! Let's go back to the festival. Right! Just like Saika said, there are lots of fun things to do! What do you say, Klee? Sounds like the Iridori Festival could be a real blast. <laughs> okay, then. Let's go! When the wind of death blew towards the blonde samurai? Oh, what a long name. Must be a new one. I've never heard of it. Oh no. Hmm. By Kawabanga Iki. <laughs> Yomiya, this is a really strange name. Who's this Kawabanga? It's pronounced Kayabuki Ike. <laughs> that would be me. Outlander Brigade is a new series of mine, and When the Wind of Death Blew Towards the Blonde Samurai is the first volume. Hmm, Outlander's been great? Um, is it a story about the best of friends? Kaya says that every good story has to have best friends in it. Absolutely not. I would never allow such clichés in one of my novels. This is a book about betrayal, blood, and tears. A long and lonely struggle. A stubborn samurai's path to the truth. This is the kind of story that needs to be told. Oh, is that right? Well, I'm not sure that's a very, uh, suitable story for Klee. Um, we might keep looking around. Hey, miss! Don't go! Are you sure you don't want a copy? I'll give you 40% off! He... This is hilarious. Flower 
Stories for Princess Fischl. Oh, look! It's Fischl's story! That's right! Flowers for Princess Fischl. Have you read this book before, Clee? <laughs> nope. But I know Fischl's story. Fischl always hangs out with Oz. Everyone in the Adventures Guild knows. It's just like how me and Todoko are always together. Hmm. I wonder if Todoko is getting bored now. Oh, Klee. I'm afraid it can't be helped. There are a lot of flammable items at the festival, and we have to be careful not to start a fire. Darn. It seems like even the Iridori Festival can't cheer Klee and you and me up. Mm. There must be plenty of things you can do with Dodoko besides lighting fireworks and going fish blasting. Yeah, like, um... I... Painting. Wait, so that's what you're suggesting? Yeah, storytelling. That's right! The Iridori Festival is a place for putting your work on display. You can show Dodoko's story for everyone here! Think of playing Dodoko with everybody. Bingo! What do you think of that idea, Klee? Mm, Mr. Albedo taught me how to paint. I can paint the story of Dodoko's adventure in Inazuma. That's very imaginative. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> we could even put the finished story on display at the festival. <gasps> Yay! Great! Dodoko will be so happy. Perfect! Okay, so I have some paper, paintbrushes, and paint at the shop. Let's go to the shop and paint your story there. <laughs> Yay! Let's go! Let's go! so fast when they're motivated. We better catch up. Dodoko do after getting to Inazuma? Hmm... Dodoko goes to eat tri-flavored skewers, tonkatsu ramen, and egg rolls. Ooh, that sounds great! Is that what you're painting? It looks beautiful! Once you're done painting, let's go get it printed. We'll print a whole bunch of copies and go hand them out at the festival. Hmm, although it'll cost a lot of more to get it printed. Uh, let me see if I've got enough saved up. It's okay, Yoimiya. I have some more. Look! Uh, 50 more is probably not quite enough. Well, if we don't have enough, we can ask the Traveler for ideas. Mr. Honorary Knight has helped a lot already. I don't want to trouble him. So... I think I should just go fish blasting to earn some mora. Mm, no fish blasting. Paimon and the Traveler said so. Oh, then we've got no choice. We'll have to go see Mr. Albedo. Who's Mr. Albedo? He's my 
older brother. He's super duper smart. He can do anything. And he knows how to paint, too. He paints Hilly Charles, Kaya, and even Dodoko. That's why he came to Inazuma this time, to do paintings for everyone. Oh, is that right? Then I guess Mr. Albedo must be an artist working with the Eye Publishing House. An artist? Oh, that means he has two jobs. One as an alchemist, teaching Sucrose alchemy, and the other as an artist, doing paintings for people. Yoimiya, let me show you something. Mr. Albedo taught me you can paint Dodoko's color like this. Wow! I can see the resemblance. All right, I'll paint the streets, and Klee, you fill in Dodoko's colors. Hey, you can even write the story over here to explain what's happening in the painting. Okay, let's write this. Oh, mm-hmm. Shoot! Paimon didn't hear the last part. Doriko sure had a lot of fun in Inazuma. Those two sound like they really did go on an adventure with Doriko. They couldn't be happier. Now, we have to get Doriko's story printed. Come on, let's go to the Eye Publishing House. Here we are! This is the Yai Publishing House. Yai Publishing House? Ooh! It's Auntie Aratani! I know Auntie Aratani! <laughs> auntie? <laughs> Who's that calling me Auntie? Oh, it's the little girl who came with Mr. Calx. How can I help you, little girl? Auntie Aratani, can you help me get Dodoko's story printed so that everybody can see it? Dodoko? Oh, so you've been writing a story, huh? Is Dodoko the main character? Not only that, Dodoko is also real. Look! Uh huh? I don't quite understand. We'd better explain this to her. Oh, I see. Oh, I'd love to help you make this wish come true, but... I'm sorry. The deadline has passed for accepting printing orders for the Iridori Festival. Auntie, are you saying Dodoko won't be able to meet everyone after all? Oh, I'm sorry, little girl. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, Klee, don't be upset. You still have me and the Traveler. We'll think of something. We'll find a way. Um, Miss Aratani, is there any way at all we can still get this printed? We can pay extra. And if you're short on staff to help with the printing, I can pitch in. Uh, Miss Yoimiya, I understand your sentiment, but I'm afraid it's not as simple as that. We've been printing many people's personal works for this festival, and a lot of the books are already well behind schedule. The printing press is already working overtime to try and catch up. At a time like this, we really can't squeeze any more jobs in. What do we do? Seems like we might have to give up on this idea. No, I won't let that happen. I remember this one time when I was little. Pop said he'd take me to the festival, but he was so busy with work that he forgot all about it. I waited and waited and kept wondering when Pops was finally going to take me there. Eventually, people started coming home from the festival. That night, I cried miserably. Uh, to this day, I still remember how sad I felt. I don't want Clee to feel the same way. If we can't get it printed, then we'll just have to find our own way. I can paint. 
Over the next few days, I'll paint as many as I can. Then, we'll take those to the festival. My, my. Yoimiya has quite a determined spirit. I like it very much. It's Miko, and Obito too! We heard everything. Oh, Lady Ai! It's okay, I know. You were just following the rules. Plus, we really are quite behind schedule with the printing. But our mission at Yai Publishing House is to bring dreams and happiness to the masses. It would be a crying shame if we couldn't even help one adorable little girl fulfill her wish. Let me think. Oh, I know. Yoimiya, little girl, you can print your book, but on one condition, okay? Of course, Lady Guji. Uh, just tell us. Whatever this condition is, I am ready to face it. Dear me, it's nothing that horrendous. You make it sound like I'm some sort of wicked witch. All I mean is, if you want to get your work printed now, there is only one way. You have to combine it with another print. However, there is only a small amount of space remaining in the book in question. Your book is too big, so you have to reduce it to about half the size to make it fit. Is this a sacrifice that you're willing to make? Klee, Lady Guji is saying that we can print the book if we shrink it to half the size. Are you okay with that? Yep, I am! Thanks, Miss Guji Lady! <laughs> what an adorable little girl! Well, that settles it. Aratani, make sure it gets printed with tonight's batch. Yes, Lady Ai. I'll get right on it. Combining the prints is a plausible solution, but it'll cause a lot of extra work for the printing press. I am terribly sorry about that. No problem. Just think of it as my greeting gift for little Klee. Besides, the Yai Publishing House will need your help with the illustrations again next time, Mr. Calx. You could also consider it as my investment in you, hmm? All right, I won't disturb you two any longer. Bye-bye now. Yay! Everything worked out perfectly! Now, we just need to wait for an update from the Yai Publishing House. Yoimiya, Traveler. Thank you for keeping Klee so exceptionally well entertained for me. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, she know. Should spend time with her too. Yes, you're right. Klee is family, after all. Catch me! Can't catch me! Look, Mr. Honorary Knight, Auntie Aratani brought us Doloko's story. Now we can finally see what secrets Klee and Yoimiya were keeping from us. Oh, it's really nothing that exciting. It's the story of Doloko and me. And me. And you guys. Aww. All the goes must someday ride wind and waves and go on adventure. Gentle and beautiful mother once said that. Maybe just as she had predicted, Odoko was so happy when its best friend Klee said that she was going to the Nation of Lightning for an adventure. 
course, Totoko loves eating delicious foods with Klee and Good Hunter, and food listening to the birds sing. But Totoko loves counting the stars in the sky, twisting flowers into the garlands together with Klee more. After all, oh, Totoko longs to ride the rain and raise on an adventure. To get to Inazuma, one needs to pass through the wild winds and pass uh, the great waves. But Dodoko did not fear the howling wind, for that was a blessing of the animal archon. Dodoko did not worry about the rolling graves either, for it was a very brave. Of course, Dodoko didn't want Klee to have such a dangerous, but as latest friends, they were bound to protect each other. And Dodoko didn't want to be proud of Klee from Klee anyway. Without Klee, adventures would be like sweet flowers that cannot bloom, only in sad things. Even if Dodoko were to cover every inch of the fat by land or sea, it would be meaningless. So there would be no point in hesitating. Dodoko and its best friend Klee would head off an adventure. If they rode on a boat, they would be fly in the sea or happy in the sea. But they all have Klee's smile on the battle stories, and it was a good trade. You can assume with the land of lightning. And they, the flowers and grasses were all purple. The fish and birds are also purple. Everything is purple. A battle would probably run out of purple paint trying to paint it all. Fortunately, he couldn't be around to draw with Klee and Dodoko. Battlewood is an adult, after all, and sometimes adults have to do adult things. Fortunately, Dodoko still has Klee. Klee would also do things as long as Dodoko is with Klee. Dodoko would never be bored. We had also lots of friends in Iizuma, like Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon, and Yuamiya. They all joined Dodoka for the most of fun adventures in Inazuma, ready for adventure. So Honorary Knight took Dodoka up, up on a tall, tall mountain with Yaku. When they got to the Sacred Sakura, they were tired from all that climbing, and uh, they fell asleep. And they woke up, everyone had grown wings like Tengu. And Klee's wings were red, Yuamiya's were gold, and Mr. Honorary's knight were blue. So Paimon, Paimon would fly without rings, so Paimon didn't grow any. Everyone opened their rings up, causing a huge gust of wind to roll forth. Shroom. And the Shrine Maiden's hair is all messed up. Oh no, she looks angry. Better run quick. And adventure was truly fun, but with a growl, Klee's stomach started to chilling and calling out. Oh no, how could they have forgotten? Eating is an important part of the adventure too. Nom 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 nom. So everyone ate only gear they brought along. <laughs> they all had a great time. Dodoko and Paimon finished this to very quickly, and that was a very full Dodoko look. Klee smile. Couldn't help but think meeting Klee and the others was the happiest thing ever having a Dodoko. Aww. Uh, yes, if you're reading this, you too are sure part of the big adventure. Venturing together, laughing together, and enjoying good food together. If you experience it together with everyone, then you must be their good friend. In which case, you invite your as fire truck as well. Well, everyone was happily watching all oh, the fireworks. Yomir said, As long as their imaginations don't want to dry, but minds will be freer than others. And Klee blurted out, We'll be best friends. See, Dodoko was happy to be together with good friends. Now, you're Dodoko's good friends too. You too should go on a grand adventure with your friends. Paimon's in the story too! Aww. This is Paimon's first time featuring in a printed book! Woohoo! Paimon's gonna be famous! Of course we included Paimon! This is the story of everyone's big happy adventure with Dodo Co. This story is me and you and Mia's gift for Mr. Honorary Knight. Lady Yai wanted me to inform you that since this book was printed together with another work, there are many more copies than you may have anticipated. We won't charge you a printing fee, but in exchange, the extra copies of your book will be included as a free gift with purchases of the other book. Is that okay with you? Oh, are you sure? I mean, it's fine by us. But what does the author of the book think? Actually, the book that yours was printed with is called the Tevat Travel Guide. <gasps> hey, that's Mommy's book! So, Klee's mother is a writer? Huh. Klee's mother, Alice, is a renowned adventurer in Tevat, and the Inazuma edition of her popular Tevat Travel Guide series is set to be released imminently. Lady Yae has already decided on how to promote it. A joint endeavor by Tevat's biggest and best mother-daughter adventure duo. It's sure to be a huge hit. Oh, Paimon knew it! Miko would never do anything for free! <laughs> a typical move by Lady Yai. It works out well for everybody. 
doesn't it? Yep, I'm super happy because my book gets to be released together with Mommy's book. It's like me and Mommy going on an adventure together. Oh, I'm so glad I came. The Iridori Festival is the best! Catch me! So many complaints. What should I do? Need help? Ah! Oh, are you the traveler who my superior said would come and help us out? You came at the perfect time. We're facing a small problem here. As you know, the Iridori Festival is underway. In addition to all the things on sale, there's a lot of free entertainment programs available. But today, we received numerous complaints that a group of people have been hogging the Tanuki photo board. They won't leave so no one else gets to use it. <sighs> what a headache. Had you drive them, Ray? Well, we tried talking to them, but the original point of these entertainment facilities was to let people freely enjoy the festival. So in principle, it's open to everyone. And there's no time limit on usage. This means that as long as they haven't done anything technically illegal, even if they keep hogging it, there is nothing we can do. So, can you try negotiating with them for us? If these complaints can't be resolved and Madame Cujo finds out, I'll lose my bonus this month for sure. Hogging a photo board, huh? <laughs> we know who would do something like that. Should we go and have a look? Thank you so much. You'll find them by the Tanuki photo board just east of the square. I just absolutely <laughs> well, if it isn't our Taki Ito and his gang. I knew it was gonna be them. Let's go and see what all of this is about. Hey, hey! Traveler, Paimon, what's happening? Oh, you came here for the Iridori Festival too? Oh, see, I knew it! Great minds think alike, huh? <laughs> oh, you're such a child. We're here to take care of a little problem. Yo. Oh, right. Yeah, well, who's got a problem? The Arataki gang considers it our born duty to help those in need. What do you think? Wait, huh? The Arataki gang is the problem! The Terrio Commission said you guys have been hogging the photo board and nobody else has had a chance to use it. Oh, uh, well... No, we haven't. What'd you get to explain? Uh, it's kind of a long story. Uh, hey, Mamoru, you're up. Explain the situation to these good people. Yes, boss. The story starts two months ago, when we first found out about the Iridori Festival. As everyone knows, this is a festival all about showcasing culture with books on all kinds of topics on display and for sale. Our boss is very forward-thinking. He thought we should seize this golden opportunity to publish some material introducing the Arataki Gang and help craft a glorious public image. He also said we can make some money out of it to support ourselves. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> well, that wasn't the main reason, obviously. Of course that was your main reason. At first, we had plenty of time. In two months, boss planned to write 60 pages. But one month in, and he'd written a grand total of one line. Well, I mean, come on, yeah. <laughs> Gotta make sure the quality is up to scratch. More like worst procrastinator ever. So we cut some of the planned content, and figured it would still be fine if we could put out 20 pages in the next month. 
But the day after that, the boss got a hold of this card game called Genius Invocation TCG. Everyone loved it! It felt like we huh. only played a few rounds, but before we knew it, half a month had gone by! I'm telling you, this game? It's pretty incredible. I was just gathering inspiration for my writing. What? Sure you were! Inspiration that has absolutely nothing to do with what you were writing about. So, then we only had two weeks left. No way was that going to be enough time to publish a book. Boss said we should just make a colorful flyer instead. That way, we'd only need to think of a slogan. That makes more sense. It shouldn't take too long to think of a slogan, right? Yeah, it didn't take long at all. We came up with 30 slogans between us in just half a day. But 30 was too many. And we couldn't agree with each other on which one to use. It took us a week to make the final decision. That was when we realized we'd have to pay an expensive express fee for the printing, because there was so little time left. And we couldn't afford it. You gotta take it slow if you want to do something well. Pay an express fee and they're gonna do a rush job, and <laughs> then there's gonna be all sorts of problems. The Arataki Gang only puts out the very best into the world. And that is why I decided to give up on that project. Sure. That, yep, well said. You gotta do what keeps you happy. Same goes for humans and Oni alike. But it's not every day that you get to go to an Iridori festival, right? So priority number one right now is enjoying ourselves to the mo mo, -mo max And the way you chose to enjoy yourselves was to commandeer a novelty photo board? Um, so, at first, Boss brought us here to buy some drinks. He said there was some sort of Iridori Festival limited edition soft drink available. That's right. This ain't no ordinary drink either. It's a special edition joint creation of Sailing Breeze and Yai Publishing House, as featured in the popular novel, Pretty Please Kitsune Guji. Uh, what? But when we got to the festival, the staff wouldn't let us in because of our unusual outfits. They said we had to show up looking like our normal selves before they'd let us in. We'd invested a lot of time and money into the way we looked. And then they accused us of spoiling the image of the city. One thing led to another, and by the time we finally got to Sailing Breeze's booth, all the drinks were sold out. We were pretty disappointed, but there was nothing we could do. Then we saw this photo board on the way back. Boss said we can't let the trip go to waste, so... So you decided to take over the whole area for your own use? <laughs> I beg to differ. It's public property. We didn't commandeer anything. We're just making sure public resources get used to the max. Yeah, Boss is right. We're the ones making the most out of this thing. Never let a single moment in your life go to waste. That's our policy in the Arataki Gang, and we're out here making sure this photo board gets the most out of its lifespan, too. Oh, brother, what a noble cause. We can go buy some books. But we spent so much money on our appearance. We only had enough left for one of those drinks. We don't have anywhere near enough to buy books. Well, you can't just take over this photo board for yourselves because it's free and you don't have any money. Other people have the right to use it, too. I guess when you put it like that, I can kind of see where you're coming from. So come on! Let someone else have their turn already! Um... Um... But you know full well that the Arataki Gang has a reputation to uphold. If I say I'm going to make the most out of this board, then I have to live up to my words. If we just scrap our plan like that, we'd be going against our word. A gang's got to have integrity, or it does huge damage to your prestige. <clears throat> that being said, we won't have to worry about any of that if we can settle this the Arataki way. The Arataki way, huh? Paimon has a bad feeling about this. So I, Arataki Numero Uno Ito, challenge you to an all-out, no-holds-barred, anything-goes duel. If you win, I will leave this board alone. I mean a beetle battle. 
Oh, beetle fighting is an awesome idea. Just so happens I caught myself a true beast of an Oni Kabuto the other day. I call it Demon of Darkness. <laughs> Unfortunately, I didn't bring Demon of Darkness with me today, so... Huh. Well, that's a relief. So, how are we gonna do this duel? Uh, let's think. Um... Yeah, ugh, wow, this is a this is a tough nut to crack. Let me think for a second. Um Hey, look! Isn't that Toma? Guess he's here for the festival too. Why don't we ask Toma how to do this duel? Paimon bets he'll have tons of ideas. Toma! Toma! Over here! Hey, Traveler and Paimon! What a nice surprise meeting you guys here. So. <sighs> well, I heard that a certain well-known individual had made an appearance at the festival and taken quite a liking to the Tanuki photo board. Since the Yashiro Commission is the host of this festival, I felt I simply had to come and meet them in person. Hmm. Red Horns. If I'm not mistaken, you must be the esteemed Arataki Ito, leader of the widely renowned Arataki Gang. Is that right? <laughs> Toma, my bro, your eyes do not deceive you. And you are the housekeeper extraordinaire of the Kamisato clan. You're quite the celebrity yourself, you know. Well, I'm flattered, Ito. And it's nice to meet you too, um, bro. Whoa. There's a serious bromance developing here. I didn't expect to run into both Ito and the Traveler here. Speaking of which, I kind of count as the host here. So is anything wrong? Don't worry, you can tell me anything. It's all Ito! He wants to... Uh, no, 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 it's no, no, it's no big deal. We were just about to have a duel, and, uh, we're trying to think of what format it should take. Oh, a duel. In that case, I have a suggestion. Since your duel is taking place at the Iridori Festival, why don't you have a volunteering competition? Then, you can both do your part for the Iridori Festival while settling your duel at the same time. What do you think? Volunteering competition? I, uh, sounds a little low-key. Not quite hardcore enough for the Arataki gang. I give this idea an interest rating of, uh, two points. One for the Traveler, one for Toma. Boss means, uh, two points out of a hundred. <laughs> yeah, this job isn't the most high stakes, that's for sure. It just takes a little patience and responsibility. Also, since it's volunteering, by definition, there's no remuneration. All you'll get is this special edition drink from Sailing Breeze, as a small token of appreciation. On second thought, this is nowhere near enough for the prestigious Arataki gang. I don't know what I was thinking. Wait, 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 wait a sec. What was that part about the, uh, token of appreciation? Oh, it's just a special edition drink produced by Yai Publishing House and Sailing Breeze. It's really nothing special. Boss, that's the one! If we take this gig, we'll get that drink! Oh, so, uh, Toma, my bro, my guy, my dude. Maybe I didn't explain properly. When I said two points, that's out of a total of... Two. <laughs> if there's one thing the Arataki gang is known for, I kid you not, it's our patience and responsibility. It's an awesome idea, totally hardcore. Practically tailor-made just for me. <laughs> Traveler, let's do this for our duel, huh? It'll be amazing. Whoever volunteers the hardest wins. What do you think? You didn't seem too interested in it just a second ago. If you want that drink, just ask Toma. Hey, this is the mighty Arataki, above all, bold-blooded Ito you're talking to here. I'm a say what I mean, mean what I say, might sound mean, but I say it anyway kind of guy. And I say, we're gonna have this duel. AKA doesn't want people to know he's only doing it for the drinks kind of guy. Hit. If it's decided, then allow me to take the role of your judge. The volunteer work is simple. You just need to give your help to people who need it during the festival. I will assign some job requests that I've already received to you. 
If you're ready, we can begin. Let's hide and see. Okay, our first job is to help a busy vendor. His stand is just nearby. Are you the volunteers? As you can see, there's a lot of dust and... I've just been so busy with my customers these past few days. I keep meaning to sweep up, but I just haven't found a spare moment. Can you help me clean up the place, please? Thank you so much. already? Wow, you work hard. You're wonderful people, all you volunteers. Thank you so much. Let's see. Our next job is to help a visitor. Hey, mister, come and help me. Hey, Kajirai. Fancy meeting you here at the festival. But we don't have time to play games with you right now. I'm not playing games. I'm in trouble. I heard they were selling a new kind of tamari at the festival, so I, I came to check it out. But I, I couldn't find it anywhere. And then I went and lost my current one. <laughs> it's gotta be nearby. I, I still had it a moment ago. Can you help me, mister? <sighs> so basically, every time we run into you, we have to go tamari hunting. Time to go. Great! Ah, oh, now I can play the Tamari game again. Thanks, mister. Okay, one last job. Hmm. We need to help move some goods at the port. Let's go! Are you the festival volunteers? Oh, great. I was just wondering what to do about these goods. It's been really busy lately, and all the workers at the port are swamped. But I have to get all this fresh soy milk delivered to the warehouse as soon as possible. It'll go bad if it's left outside too long. Can you please help me take it to the warehouse? My co-worker Takeuchi will be waiting for you there. Thank you so much. Time to go. Ah, uh, you must be the volunteers here to save the day. You must be tired. Put down the goods and have a rest. I heard the Yashiro Commission has arranged for Sailing Breeze to prepare some special drinks for the volunteers as a way of saying thank you. Soy milk is actually one of the ingredients for the drink. It's freshly made every day. In fact, the last batch of soy milk we processed has just been sent over. You'll get to try it very soon. What? So Sailing Breeze's special drink has soy milk in it? Ito won't be able to drink that! Hurry! You will. We've got to get to Sailing Breeze before he does! Time to go! <laughs> what took you so long? I've been here ages! Completed my tasks a long time ago. So there you have it. When volunteering is the name of the game, no one volunteers harder than Arataki Ito. <laughs> you lose, I win, and to the victor go the special edition spoils. Behold, the drink of champions, created by Sailing Breeze in collaboration with Yai Publishing House, and as featured in the popular work, Pretty Please Kitsune Gucci? Woo, all this talk's making me thirsty. Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Drink of champions, it's time to come home. There are soybeans in the drink. Ah, woo! <laughs> that 
That's the good stuff. That was a mighty fine drink. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> Although, maybe it was past its prime. Boss, they said they think there might be, uh, b beans in the drink. Huh? Down. The boss is down! Quick! Get him to a doctor! What's wrong? Can't Toritaki Ito drink soy products? He's allergic to beans! Oh, my goodness. Okay, uh, quick, grab Ito and follow me. I'll get a doctor. I sure hope it's not too serious. I'm sorry. I didn't even consider this possibility. It was all my fault. Leave Ito to me. I'll make sure he stands again. Don't worry. I'll see you later. So, your friend is allergic to beans. It's a very rare condition, though I have heard about it. I'm so sorry that our drink caused such a problem. I feel terrible. If you don't mind, please, take this. This is a special drink formula with no soy milk. I could see that your friend enjoyed this drink a lot. Although it tastes slightly different without the soy milk, I'm sure this version will be more suitable for your friend. Please accept it, along with our sincere apologies. <laughs> 